You've had quite an interesting last 48 to 72 hours. Talk about it. I've had an interesting couple weeks. <laughs> well, that too. I've flown all around Regina, Saskatoon, Calgary, home. But you know what? We're here and uh, really, really nice to get a win. Felt really good, so really happy. Well, let's talk what's going on at home. So you went home Saturday night, got home, and uh, turned out to be a false alarm? Yep. Yeah, just, just not quite there yet. So, um, you know, we've been in the hospital. Everything seems to be good. So uh, my wife said, you know, go. You need to go back and play a game and live out your dreams. So, uh, you know, we tried to get back last night for the game for the game last night. Of course, we couldn't land in Regina. So we rode it to Saskatoon. And I honestly, I was... I was just heading home. I didn't think I was going to get here, so but uh, drilling gods were with me, and I got to come uh, come live out my dream here. So this has been awesome. And you get the W, and uh, I assume you've already spoken to Sean about uh, your impact on the lineup today. I have already put my request in for a raise, and we'll see <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So no, it's good. I mean, everybody played really well here, and you know we kind of went into this game just let's have some fun, right? And, and you know what? I mean, we're 0-4, and, and let's let's just go and throw some rocks and have some fun, enjoy the experience, and. Uh, so that's what we did. So, yeah, it was awesome. And I assume you're in a permanent state of on-call. I am in a permanent state of on-call and have been for, for two weeks now. So <laughs> I will go check my phone here in a minute and see what, uh, see what the scoop is. Obviously, there's a lesson to be learned. Don't beat you because the next team that comes out is going to be in trouble. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the lesson. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you had to feel good to bounce back the way you did today. Yeah, I mean, um, we, we, we need to sharpen up a bit. Um, and uh, we were good, but I, they had, you know, they were off a little bit, had a bad pick that sort of the landslide came. <laughs> so, um, you know, we, we uh, things sort of got out of hand and um, it'll be interesting to see if, you know, our next couple of games if we get tested, how we respond. What was the, what was the attitude like coming off the ice last night? What was it like this morning? What did you guys conclude? I, you know, it's... Anytime you're playing one of the best teams in the world and they bring their A game, you can't really lose sleep over it. And I'm sure they've felt the same when we beat them. So <laughs> it's it's just like the, our, our our best Canadian teams are so good. If they bring their A game, they're probably going to win. So um, Brad was that good, I thought. Uh, um, and uh, we'll have to be um, close to that uh, down down the week, um, you know, to have a chance to win. So hopefully we can kind of build from that. A lot of priority being put on tomorrow, obviously, two big games and uh, mm -hmm. a chance to carry some prior, uh, some momentum into that championship round. Yeah, but, you know, it's, it's very important to carry as good a record as you can through this first round. Um, so, yeah, two Ws tomorrow will go a long way to help us. A little bit of a U of A battle out there with you and Thomas. It must have felt good to come out and talk. Yeah, for sure. We had that conversation in the first end that how many battles we've had against each other and to have one at the Briar was pretty special. Yeah, what was the attitude going into that game for you guys? Just, uh, I, I would suspect, just to keep up the kind of play that you guys have put out there the last few days. Yeah, we're on a little bit of a roll, but we have a tough part of the schedule coming up here, so we really needed to build and have a good game and try and lead into tomorrow on a good note. So, did you accomplish that? Were you happy with what you saw out there? Is there still stuff that needs to be picked up? Yeah, I really was. You know, we gave up one steal in the sixth end that threw us for a little bit of a loop and made it a little bit of a closer game than it needed to be, but I thought we played well, so if we do that tomorrow, I think we'll be in good shape. And what's the attitude tonight? Do you do you think about tomorrow? Do you try and relax, get away from this? What's the deal? I think we're actually going to take an evening and get away with our families and have a good dinner and just get into some good headspace for tomorrow. That was another efficient kind of victory out there. Do you like where the guys are at right now? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, as I said yesterday, I like how we're playing. I like how we're throwing. Just making a couple, uh, you know, silly mistakes here and there that we need to clean up. But other than that, I, I think we're playing well. We're uh, I like how we're throwing it. I guess, you know, everybody looking at this new format kind of had it in their mind that, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, that's when things really get real. And um, with, that in, with that in mind, did you guys change your, I mean, you've been through the traditional Briar format. Do you change the way you do things at this event schedule-wise and knowing that it's kind of backloaded? Yeah, I, I, I believe we did a little bit, or, or me personally. I, I took it a little lighter early on in the week, um, you know, especially this year with the two, tri two Olympic trials and, you know, a big push, uh, you know, there's a burnout factor that, that you have to take into account. So, you know, from an intensity standpoint, we, we are starting to ramp it up. Obviously, the game last night against Mike, we were uh, at 100%. Uh, and I would expect we're going to be close to that now for the remainder of the week. But certainly at the beginning, we kind of eased our way into it. And, um, 
you know, come Thursday or Friday, we're going to have to be firing on all cylinders when we play Jacobs and Carruthers and Laycock and, right. and Lippings. When you say ease into it, does that mean strategy-wise you're not trying anything too terribly comp uh, complicated or how does that? No, it just, just means really just not over, not stressing, not not getting uh, too uptight, just having fun, enjoying the moment. You know, the Briars are fun to play and, and just trying to enjoy it and embrace it, not get kind of... 100% singularly focused on playing the game like you tend to do at an Olympic trials or when you get close to the weekend in the Briars. So you start doing that too early, you can burn out and, and uh, you know, I, I think we've managed ourselves very good. We haven't changed the strategy, we haven't changed how we threw the rock. It's really just a mental approach going into each game.